Assistive technologies for the inclusion of people with disabilities in society, education and jobs is the title of a scientific foresight study which has been conducted for the STOA panel of the European Parliament. STOA stands for Science and Technology Options Assessment. The project focused on the potential of assistive technologies for three types of disabilities – blindness and visual impairment, deafness and hearing impairment, and Autism Spectrum Disorders, or ASD. What are assistive technologies, or ATs? ATs are, in the words of the World Health Organization, assistive products and related systems and services developed to maintain or improve functioning and thereby promote well-being. This means that ATs are technologies which can assist a person in doing something that otherwise this person would not be able to do or would have difficulties with. ATs can provide different kinds of support. For blind people, ATs are often based on tactile communication like Braille, or sounds to replace images, text-to-speech devices, or technology to assist mobility. For deaf people, ATs can increase the sound level, for instance by means of hearing aids, or replace the sound by images or vibration-like visual alerting devices. For ASD, ATs are often designed to overcome barriers in communication. Here, augmentative and alternative communication technologies have been developed, like speech-generating devices. ATs can be medical devices, but it is also possible to use mainstream technologies for assistive purposes. For example, GPS navigators with voice interfaces are often used by blind people. Video phones for sign language users and video games can be used by people with ASD to simulate and prepare for daily specific situations. Currently, people with disabilities face a wide range of barriers. These include, for instance, physical and communication barriers, but also social barriers. There are many expectations regarding the benefits for people with disabilities in society connected with the use of ATs, since they can support people with disabilities to overcome the challenges they face. For instance, concerning the challenges in independent living. The hopes connected to ATs are related to an active and independent participation into social life, or as one blind IT expert put it during the project, being able to integrate in society to do what you need to do independently. This is what assistive technologies bring us. Independence. Not having to ask for help for specific tasks to friends or family. The concept of universal design is crucial to ensure that ATs can serve everybody in society and that they can be connected with a wide range of user interface devices. Currently, the European Accessibility Act is being negotiated at European level, aiming to ensure that technical devices will be universal, interoperable and accessible for all. And what are the challenges in education? Participating fully in education is crucial to deal with the challenges of a digitalized world, as well as for the further active participation in employment. Students with disabilities are in need of educational support tools. IT technologies, for instance, have a prominent role for the inclusion of students into the educational system. In the words of an expert from industry, many aspects of education are currently provided through computers. Students need to have these assistive technologies, but the content and the platform have to be accessible. People without disabilities also need to be educated. Professionals dealing with ATs, for instance, in healthcare or public services, like police staff or teachers, technology developers or web specialists, they all need to be more aware of the specific needs of people with disabilities and how technology can support them. Many experts recommend that a new profession, the assistive technology professional, should be introduced to help manage the specifics and complexity of ATs. What are the challenges in employment? Experts agree that ATs can be of high importance at the workplace regardless of the disability. Technology can be very useful in the employment world, where technology can help make the labour market more disability friendly. Specific needs for ATs at the workplace can be, for instance, for the visually impaired, full access to all IT applications, including pictures, for the hearing impaired, web-based sign language interpretation, for people with ASD, augmented reality applications to simulate and train for real-life situations at the workplace, 
Despite the many technologies and information sources available, the inclusion of people with disabilities into the labor market still faces many attitudinal barriers and prejudices remain. These already start at the recruitment phase and continue through later stages of employment. What are the key future challenges of ATs? Many challenges lay ahead of us. These include the development of new technical solutions like bionic eyes and robot assistance. At least as important is the careful ethical, social and economic assessment of these technologies. ATs can already play an essential role in supporting people with disabilities to overcome the barriers they face. But society also needs to change so that we can overcome the attitudinal and social barriers still existing towards people with disabilities.